It's showtime. So you're Blake, huh? I'm gonna hide in here. Okay, well, are you a brave guy? Yes. He's okay, a good. Because, uh, you know, there's really nothing to worry about. Oh my goodness, you sound like a dude from Wolfpack. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. Do you, have you heard of the Wolfpack 5 in any of your research? Because this is really what started it all. In 1977, I built this, this, this show that you see right here. This is a Wolfman, and as you can see, we haven't painted his face yet, because I just put a new face on him. And this gorilla over here, a guy called me and says he wanted me to bring this, this show out for him. So I did, I brought it up. It's right here. Oh my goodness, an endoskeleton. It's funny that you call it an endoskeleton. That's what they call it. Who invented that word, endoskeleton? Uh, Scott, Coffin. Scott Coffin. Yeah, he calls it an endoskeleton. Yeah, but I ain't really that mean, you see? Because you see, you gotta put me on some air, some electronics, and a computer. Otherwise, I just sit here just like this. It's actually 40 years old, and you can see how, how like broken and cracked it is but when it when it was new it was really fresh but the, the customer doesn't want me to make him a new mask he wants the old one he says he wants it to look really old but you see everything has a, a mechanism it's like this animatronic was actually real at first and then it got dismantled like can you well when you we walk around the building you'll see a lot of these things where you can see the, the cylinders and the tubes and the valves and see how everything works oh. okay see now take a look at these guys they're from the moon now, up until, you know, Scott Coffin wrote the story of Five Nights at Freddy's, no animated characters had ever been accused of killing anybody. So, that's exactly how Scott Coffin got the idea. He saw the characters performing, and he started his imagination going. And he thought, my gosh, you know, what if those characters came off the stage? And what if they walked around? They can't hurt you. Their feet are screwed to the floor. <laughs> Blake, are you nine today? Yes. Yeah, you're not 10, right? You're nine, right? Yes. Okay, well, nine's a very important age because, you see, that's when you start realizing that you're getting old, right? Right? Start at a nine or is it 10? When do you get your first gray hair? The Rocket Fire Explosion is going to play a show for you now that I wrote and performed the music for it. And it's a song about getting old. And the reason we did this song was because the Rock Park Explosion, they're really old. They've been around for 35 years. Sitting too long. In the one we meet, in the monkey, the people say a monkey around. The way to visit singing, put anybody down. Cheer up, sleepy jeep. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer? It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Look and see. Oh yeah. Have a dance and a big party. Uh huh. It's your birthday.
our favorite tradition celebrating birthdays. And whenever one of our friends is having a birthday, we love to send out our best wishes with a song. Ain't that right, Looney Bird? That's right, Billy Bob. And I got the refreshments in my barrel. Now, I don't believe corn squeezings goes too good with pizza, Looney Bird. Well, maybe not, but it sure beats anchovies. We're having a party. Don't you like the party, too? Aren't you itching to get started? It's time to sing away the blues. We want you all to gather around and celebrate our happy sounds. Just let the music take you right along. Uh, yeah, you're out of tune again. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown ups alike, where fantasy has fun come to life. There's nothing to worry about. But there's nothing to worry about, right, guys? 25 years ago, I had a girlfriend. In fact, I wanted to build an animated character just like her. So I did. But then the animated character started doing weird things. Like, she would just show up over here and be watching me. And then I'd be over in another part of the building and she'd just show up over there. And I don't know how it was happening. It was like she was possessed or something. The lights go off and this weird music comes on and she just pops up out of nowhere. Oh, there she is. I can hear her coming. Look out. Where is she now? Where, where is she going to come out this time? There's nothing to worry about.